Hello my beautiful Taurus, welcome to your reading for late June 2023. I am in a different location as you can see, I'm dog sitting for my parents so the acoustics are going to be not so great. Just bear with me, I can't really do much about it. Um, so we're going to do some general messages before we take a look and see what's going on in your love life. Um, you've got the ladybird which is an excellent card to get. You know, it feels like everything is happening in your favour right now. You know, this is an energy of luck. All of your manifesting and positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Um, and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in, says the penguin. Okay. Um, the only advice I have really based on these general messages is to be your own caretaker. So think about how you can serve yourself better. Maybe you need to manage your time a little bit better. Maybe you could, you know, save more money because the squirrel squirrels things away in preparation for the winter okay so and the dog is here that's asking you to to serve yourself better think about where your loyalties lie and whether you know maybe you're spreading yourself a little bit too thin maybe you're putting other people's needs before your own that kind of thing okay let's see what is going on um we'll have a look at the soul truth deck we'll have a look at the angel deck and the animals okay what is the message for Taurus, please, Spirit? What is the message for Taurus? What is the message for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know in late June 2023, please, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, you've got, on whom am I placing blame right now? <laughs> It says, a person who blames others has not begun their lesson. A person who blames themselves has begun their lesson, but a person who blames no one has finished their lesson. So where can you take more responsibility? How can you free yourself by releasing all victimhood, blame and resistance? They don't belong where you're going. Only love and courage live there. Make a choice to do it, even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart. You will be led. Okay, so are you blaming circumstances? Are you blaming past mistakes or other people disempowering you right now? What is it that you could be blaming? Let's have a look at this tarot. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is going on and where is the blame happening in Taurus's life right now, please. Show me what is going on here. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, Four of Cups. There's some area where you feel dissatisfied. Maybe um, Scorpio had a similar message. They're not feeling recognized. Now, this could be in a particular area of your life, or it could just be generally. Um, we have the Three of Cups in the reverse. Maybe you're feeling a little bit... Um, marginalized by friends possibly you know the three of cups is a, a card about friends maybe you need to uh, um, extend the olive branch that's what I'm getting maybe you need to you know instead of blaming your friends for whatever okay um, you could just say look it takes two to tango I'm going to take accountability for my part in this issue and let's just move forward you know i'm sorry for the way that i made you feel i wasn't happy about a b or c but I'm, I'm ready to forgive and forget you know that's what i'm getting here so i definitely feel like for some of you um it's a friendship issue and um rather than you know smoothing things over you're being a little bit stubborn as as taurus you sometimes can be and you're waiting for the other person to apologize when you could just um resolve the problem okay you have the ten of cups wow you've got a lot of emotional fulfillment happening at the moment um relationships could be looking good um king of wands in the reverse you are deciding not to take action though and i feel like it could be with any conflict happening here um let's see what could be holding you back angels and spirit please show me what is holding taurus back right now what is the what is the blockage what's holding taurus back right now please what is holding taurus back in late june 2023 what is holding taurus back okay yep see hostility and aggression 
There are times when we react with force or violence to people or situations that upset us greatly. The anger is stronger that the self -control we, than the self-control we may possess. Sometimes we, we are the recipients of that aggression and we're faced with loathing, animosity or an attack on our safety and integrity. It is sourced in fear, resentment and anger. It may be sometimes unprovoked and unrelated to us or our behavior, and we might simply be the proverbial last drop in someone else's bucket. So what you need to ask yourself is, do I experience feelings of hostility or aggression towards others? And what is the root of these feelings? Have I been on the receiving end of violence or aggression and how did it affect me? And the affirmation is, I am resilient and strong. I stay deeply rooted. I deal appropriately and lovingly with all of the consequences of violence in my life. Let's see what you need to let go of. I feel like you need to let go of the need to be right. That's what I'm picking up. I'm hearing that. Boundaries. Okay, boundaries are needed. All right. Um, it's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. So practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Angels and spirit, please show me what is Taurus's advice? What do they need to release? What do they need to let go of in late June 2023, please? Okay, so you've got surrender to wonder and awe. Be open to magic. You've got surrender, obsessive thinking. Um, okay. So you could be obsessing about this situation that we're picking up or um, maybe you're, you're obsessing over a person. The advice is to turn the dilemma over to spirit and doing so will help you bring clarity and even solve the problem. Um, spirit is saying surrender to success. So don't be looking back at previous roadblocks or difficulties because now is a lucky time. We saw that with the, the lady beetle. So leap into an exciting new world of possibilities and no more procrastinating. Okay. So if you're not pursuing your passion, if things are not fulfilling you, you need to ask yourself why you're holding yourself back. Why you keep settling for situations that are no longer making you happy. Okay, let's have a look at the animal power deck. Angels and spirit, please show me what is Taurus's message. No, those, those cards came out for Scorpio, who I just did. I want to give this a good shuffle. What is the message for Scorpio? Uh, Taurus, please, spirit. What is the message for Taurus? message for Taurus remove the mask okay so the raccoon what does that say this is a relatively new deck as well so um, I'm still getting to know the messages here it says Raccoon, with its mask-like markings and dexterous hands, represents personal change and being of service. When a raccoon appears, consider the unique potential for good that you carry and what heart-centered shifts you can make in your life to help heal this planet. Raccoon reminds you to explore and embrace your personal gifts. Remember, you do not have to be what you've been before. You have permission to shift and evolve in whatever way suits your soul. If you've been wearing a mask to hide your soul's calling, now is the time to show your true identity. The world will be better for it. Okay, so how are you concealing your talents, your truth, um, your needs? You know, uh, let's have a look and see your career messages before we have a look at love. What's going on career-wise for Taurus? You've got power position. So a promotion is in the works you're being called to lead so step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion you have luck on your side okay so your fortune and your prosperity is improving angels and spirit please show me what are the messages for taurus what are the messages for taurus please at work okay so you have many choices so you've got options, even if you don't see them right now. An opportunity is being presented. 
um, but you're being asked to get creative and look around. At the moment, you feel like there's no new work coming in. Maybe, you know, maybe your the organisation that you work for is, you know, going through a hiring freeze, um, but it looks like that's not going to affect you at all because you have an opportunity to put your demands on the table, ask for the raise, ask for the promotion and step up. So they're saying get serious about what it is that you want and then ask, put your demands on the table. Okay, um, your wish is being granted and you're on the verge of finding the perfect work for you. You can't get much better cards than that, Taurus. Okay, so let's move straight on to your love life. Let's see. Angels of Spirit, please show me what is going on for Taurus in love. What is going on for Taurus in love, please? What is going on for Taurus in love? Yeah, there's that same cards coming out. Okay, so, you know, the Four of Cups is about rejection and the Three of Cups is about friends. Some of you might be feeling like your person of interest is prioritizing friends over you, not giving you the quality time and attention that you feel you deserve. Okay, yeah, so I'm getting disappointment. The Five of Cups is here as well. What is going on for Taurus in love, please, Spirit? What is going on for Taurus in love? What's going on for Taurus in love, please? Queen of Cups. Yeah. You're in your feelings. The magician in the reverse is telling me you're feeling a bit disenfranchised, disempowered. So you feel like your, your person of interest is in you know, is the decision maker here or, you know, you're at their mercy kind of is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, and I feel that the person that you're dealing with may have addictions or toxic people around them. With the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like their lifestyle choices are not conducive to a healthy relationship next to this devil card okay so i definitely feel toxic friends um we have the seven of swords in the reverse you might discover some kind of lie um maybe your person has lied to you um, or betrayed you in some way and it involves friends for many of you okay so you're enduring a bit of difficulty in terms of your love life with this strength card you know um that's about you know, the need to harness your strength and overcome a difficult situation. I feel like, again, your person really isn't kind of invested or investing as much as maybe they usually do. Page of Pentacles in the reverse is someone dropping the ball. Maybe their communication has tapered off a little bit, okay? Um, yeah, with this Knight of Pentacles next to the Seven of Cups, they're kind of, you know, investing in you know, other areas of their life and neglecting you quite possibly. Six of Pentacles can suggest breadcrumbing, also you feeling like you're making more effort than the other person and it's tipped the scales, okay. But we do have a lot of love here. We have the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups, but I'm conscious that that adds up to Three of Cups, which is friends. So I definitely feel like a toxic friend or you know, a toxic friendship group is really um, influencing what's happening in your relationship, okay? So that's what I'm being shown. Let's see what your advice is. What is the advice? What's the advice for Taurus, please, in love? Late June 2023, please. What is the advice for Taurus in love? What is the advice for Taurus? Yeah. So, you've got, if you're a not good enough addict, you'll overcommit yourself. You'll try to do more than you can possibly do, and, and then when you can't do it, you become resentful of the person who expects you to do what you know you possibly cannot. So it definitely feels like you are pulling the other person's weight, that you're picking up their slack, and it's going to cultivate resentment so just 
pull back and stop giving so much and, and let them kind of, you know, um, give back. We have a card saying, if you do not like your relationships, the way to change them is to change how you are treating yourself. And this goes back to the need to serve yourself better instead of putting the other person's needs before your own. When we do that, we teach them that, you know, their needs are more important. So be your own caretaker, right? I feel like you need to start thinking of yourself first, at least until this person kind of, you know, um, is willing to, to step up and do what's necessary to uh, come to the party and, and, and meet in the middle. All right. I definitely see power struggles, um, possibly because you're trying to claw back power that um, maybe you relinquished unknowingly to the other person. Remember, we did have the magician in the reverse. So you definitely feel like the other person holds the power here. But this card says any conflict degenerates into a power struggle if you do not go to a common higher purpose. So we forget that we're playing on the same team. You know, we forget that we want the same thing. So even if we do succeed in controlling our partner into doing it our way, somehow our needs still aren't met. So you need to strive for an equal give and take partnership. It shouldn't be about, you know, who's boss, who gets to call the shots, right? So you need to... Restore balance in this connection is what it looks like. I'm going to end the reading with a message from the angel deck. What is the message, please, for Taurus in late June 2023, please? What is the message for Taurus? What's the message for Taurus, please, Spirit? got yes and intuition and downloads okay I'm going to read intuition and downloads I'm, I'm not a lover of that yes card it's quite vague um, but also I just feel like it's extra confirmation confirmation to trust your intuition yes you're on the right track yes you know um, what to do so intuition and downloads is saying that your intuition is becoming stronger and you're in touch with angels, guides and other divine beings who are encouraging your growth and connection to the universe. Your gifts are stronger, your psychic muscles are moving and you may want to use what you pick up to plan ahead. If so, it's important to keep your mind and energy focused on the best possible outcome. Okay, be aware of signs and symbols showing up at this time because your angels are sending you important messages that will help you to move forward in your life. Call upon them to help you connect deeply with the spiritual vision that is opening up within you. So Taurus, I hope this reading was helpful. Please do leave me comments below and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.